to make excuse. Um, I don't have enough time to make my speech, so I don't think, well, this is my fault, but so I made a casual speech in front of you. Uh, my whole speech is something like that, uh, the recommendation of my favorite author. So today I'd like to explain to you about the woman, Agatha Christie. Well, um, middle, middle bottom. Uh, yeah. Uh, to, well, to begin with, um, what image comes to your mind when you think of detective? Detective? Sherlock Holmes. Sure. Sure. <laughs> yes. I bet you most of you thought a detective sitting in the couch, piping her in not her his mm -hmm. lips, and hunting and wearing a hunting cap. Well, well, the Sherlock Holmes image. Well, um, that. The image most people think. The detective could be rational, reserved, and cold blooded, and somewhat pretending, I think. <laughs> well, uh, in this regard, it is not a surprise to tell that a uh, detective novel is for a man. Mm. However, Agatha Christie is the only woman among the legendary authors of the detective novels. So, do you know who Agatha Christie is? <laughs> yeah, uh, like I said before, she is a woman novelist in detective novel field, and she awarded a title of dame, which it, which corresponds to the I mean I think the knight or man, yeah, by the queen. Also, she is called the queen of mystery. Um, yeah, the murder of the Roger Ackroyd, and uh, murder of the. Oriental, uh, Oriental, ah, Orient Express. Uh, sorry, the A ABC murder, the three blind blind mice. These are her major works. Mm. She wrote uh, almost eighty major detective novels and many short stories. Once my objective is to read all of her books, but I fail. <laughs> <laughs> then let me tell you about the characteristics of her stories. Um, First of all, she creates charming two detectives. One is Hercule Poirot, uh, and the other one is Miss Marple. The interesting thing is, unlike Sherlock Holmes, Hercule Poirot is a gourmet, which means uh, who likes to eat, I, I mean. Mm -hmm. Short, but a little bit fat, and feel proud of his mustache. Uh, as he's Belgian, he is foreigner, foreigner in England. Well, with French accent, I think. Also, Miss Marple is extraordinary character as a detective because she's an old lady. She is a talkative old lady, which means she never get married. And she lives in a St. Mary Mead uh, countryside. She always catches the idea from overhearing the, her neighbors while, talk, while meeting. It's interesting, I think. Her hobby is gardening and chatting with other old ladies. Well, can you see the difference between Sherlock Holmes and Agatha Christie's detectives? Yeah, you can see very well. They have humor and warm hearts, and sometimes can be the messenger of the lovers, because, well, in the book, young lovers fall in love after the crime cases have been solved. On the other hand, Sherlock Holmes is more like a thinking machine. Well, it's okay. Act 3 is the mystery herself. This the third act, uh, third one about Agatha Christie is the eleven days of missing. Did you know about that? Mm -hmm. In 1926, Agatha Christie was disappeared after the night drive. And next morning, you can see the mess here. Uh, the next morning, uh, only the car was found nearby the road with her bags and her driver's license. But she's missing. At first, the Scotland Yard looked suspicious at her husband. Uh, I think his name is Archibald Christie, but because he did an affair with the young young lady, so so the Scot the police thought that she murdered he murdered her. <laughs> well, but nobody can find the evidence and the body. So, um, eleven days after. Later, I, sorry. As a Christie was found in the hotel, 400 kilometers far from the missing point. Uh, the interesting thing is, she cannot remember who she is and what happened at the day of missing. And she believed that she is Ernest Nile, the, 
the different woman's name. Not Agatha Christie. The famous novel is The Missing Days Has an End, but she never told anyone that ha what happened at the 11 days of missing until she died. Mm -hmm. The last thing is the Mr. Keys is close in happy ending. Mm -hmm. Well, after the missing, she was divorced with her husband, and she married with archaeologist Max Marlon. Here is a quote about herself. An archaeologist is the best husband a woman can choose. The older she gets, the more interested, interested he is in her. Well, okay. I think it's very... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's <definitely>. Oh, it's <laughs> so funny.